Hi there, welcome to QA Box. Let's test. And in this video, we are going to talk about jQuery filters. jQuery filters are a way to refine our jQuery selectors to make them more specific. In the last video, we talked about the jQuery selectors. So this is one such example. So what, what, what are we doing in here? So we are saying, hey, in the body, identify all the children of tag type div and then style them using this method. So a border, two pixel solid yellow border will be applied to all the divs within the body which are the direct children of body all right so when i save this so you could see that all the divs which are the direct children of the body are being styled now i want to refine it i want to just apply this style to this first div and to do that i'm going to make use of filters so the syntax of filter is just like uh, the css pseudo classes okay so the thing that you are going to do is you are going to say a colon that is going to be syntax for all the examples that I'm going to use in this video and then you're going to say first okay because this is the first div and if you do so now you see the styling is being applied only to this particular element okay so this is how we are going to write the filters now in the interest of time I've already created some and the first one in the list is first and last so first and last filters, they select the first and last match DOM element. Okay, we just saw one example of div right of first. Uh, so let us now see what are we going to do. So this is our footer. Okay, and in that, what are we saying? We are saying, hey, find the div. And this div is the descendant, right? Not the direct child. So now next thing is we are saying, hey, find the div with class row so this will be identified then we are saying hey find the first paragraph right so we start traversing this dom structure and this is the first p that we encounter okay Th these are the commented one this is commented one and same way there is one more commented for the last child okay so the first one will select this and let's now find the last in this div okay so last p so if i just so i have got three divs inside this right so last one is there inside the third div so this one okay so we are expecting that this and this should be selected for first and last okay so let's run this and if i save this now you could see this one is style and this one is style because they are the first and last paragraph okay within the footer okay so next is first child and the last child okay now we have to understand the difference between first and first child and same is then applied to last and last child so first child last child select all elements that are the first or last child of their parent all right so what's important to understand is that this first just selects one which is going to be the first one and in case of last it again selects just one but that is going to be the last one but in case of first child and last child we'll see that more than one are selected however the condition is that those elements should be the the first child and the last child of their parent okay so here if i just come here all right and if i say okay uh div row and then p dot first child so let's see which one would be selected okay all right so i do this and all of these are selected why so because we come here all right so we do not see a, a direct child of tag b but then it moves inside these div tags as well so it travels through all the descendant nodes and when i open this so you see that this one is the first one this is the first child of this div and hence this got selected all right and then this is the last one okay and therefore this is also selected then same is applied to second one here also 
this is the first one and this is the last one of this div and hence they are selected in case of this this one is selected however not this one because this is not the last child of this div okay because we have one more div after that all right so now if i uncomment these okay they will be selected because they are the first child and this is the last child of this div row all right and if i say first and last then also these are selected but then in case of first nothing inside these would be selected so first child will also identify the grandchildren but first will only find the the first children okay now it it is not necessary that it has to be then the direct children okay all right next one in the list is nth so we have talked about first last first child and last child now what about nth so nth child select all elements that are the nth child of their parent all right so we are finding a way through which we can find anything between first and last right so what we are doing is inside this body now let me collapse all these so inside this body what we are saying is find me the fourth div okay so let's see if i run this so which one is the fourth one okay so now this one is being selected right so one two three and four right so fifth one is portfolio right so this is my portfolio so fourth one is selected which means that this nh child right it starts from zero because this is the css property all right and hence it started from one okay <clears throat> what else can you do you can also do the odd and even thing in here so if we start with odd so this is the first one right and therefore it's being selected in here then third one then fifth one and if you do even so it is going to select all the even divs okay so it starts from this is one this is two right so two is selected four and so on and you can also do two and minus one and two and plus one so that's about the nth child all right now the next one is the only child okay so what are we going to do with this so only child select all elements that are the only child of their parent okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to identify the ul within a div which are the only child okay so in here in the copyright this is the only child of this div okay and if we run this now so you could see that these would get selected okay let's save this so you could see that this is being selected okay because this is the only child so if we add one more thing in here let's say we add paragraph right and we say test and if i save this okay now you see that the styling is disappeared because now we also have this as the children of this div okay so now ul is not the only child okay so let me uncomment all these things okay so the next one in the list is equal to okay and equal to select the element at index n within the match set okay so let us see that so this is n right so this is uh, again a zero based index because this method is from jquery and jquery is javascript library and in javascript indexing starts from zero so if i say find all the div which are direct children but then at this particular index 
okay so if i do this right and index starts with zero so which one would be selected this is going to be zero and this is going to be one okay so now let us do this so okay and now you could see that this one is bordered because this is zero and this is one all right uh, what else can we do in here okay can i do minus one okay let's see if i do minus one so the last one is being selected okay so you can play with this like that as well so if you have to start from the beginning you have to go for you know um, zero based index and if you have to start from the bottom you have to use minus one same way we have got the even and odd thing in here right uh, even select even element and this is zero indexed zero index means this has come from the jquery you got it same way odd is select odd elements again zero indexed all right so again this method has come from jquery and let us see these in action so what are we doing in here we are saying hey uh, in the body find all the direct child of type div but then select only the even one and in case of this we are saying select all the odd ones and we are applying a different border so red for even ones and yellow for odd ones remember this is zero based index all right so this is going to be zero then one and two and zero and two are even and one and three are basically odd all right so let's see that and now you could see that zero is red and two is red but one and three they are yellow and so on okay this is how it works so next one is when you have a list and you want to filter out that right so for example you have allies and you want to identify allies uh, you know at uh, index greater than two or index you know less than two so then we are going to use lt right and and gt so lt uh, select all element at an index less than index within the match set and gt index select all elements at an index greater than index within the match set right so let's see that so here we have all these allies right so what are we going to do now so we are saying hey uh, for it starts with again um, zero all right so we are saying hey uh, find zero and one right and this particular is because less than two means zero and one and then style them in this case we are saying hey style all the uh, you know lies greater than uh, two which means that you know we have zero one two three four and five so in the first case zero and one would be selected in the second one uh, these three would be selected right let's see that so now you could see these two are selected and then three into yellow so you can use these as well <clears throat> okay so the next one is hash right and has select element which contains at least one element that matches the specified selector okay so we are saying hey in the body find all the divs which have got the ul all right and only this copyright div has got this ul so this div would get selected okay so that's how you are going to use has okay and now you can see this one is selected all right so the next one is not and select all elements that do not match the given selector okay so we are saying now it's the opposite of it so except this uh, copyright div right select all the other divs so that's how you're going to do it we're going to say hey uh, find all the direct child of type div within the body but they should not contain the class copyright okay so now you see all others are being bordered all right except this one okay and the last one is in the list is identify elements based on the text so herein we have this anchor text and uh, anchor tag which has got the text home so we are going to identify it so the way you're going to say is hey all the anchor tags then this double colon writes in text and then you say contains and then you're going to provide in the text okay and if you run this now you can see only this one is selected so uh, 
in, in, if you are working in Cypress and you are you you want to identify control based on the text right with this approach you can also be specific and say hey this text should be present into anchor tag this text should be present into button right and you can be more specific all right so this is about filters into jquery thank you so much mm -hmm.